Hello, everybody. Welcome to 321 Sportscast, another edition of the Summer Series 2024 podcast. I got in studio with me today, Amanda Carter. She goes by Mandy. How you doing, Mandy? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Mandy's with the MCC, Melbourne Central Catholic softball team and some other sports. Appreciate you taking a little bit of time on this hot summer day. Thank you for having me. It's actually a cloudy kind of rainy looking <laughs> yeah. out there. So I do appreciate you taking a little time to come in. You know, we got to have a good conversation earlier. I'm going to fire off some questions and let everybody get to know you. Sound fair? Yes. <laughs> All right. So so you, you're a softball player for MCC. You play some other sports, but softball is the primary sport. How old were you when you got into softball? Um, I started playing softball around the age of five after playing t-ball for a few seasons. Okay. So you've been playing for quite a Quite a while. How old are you now? Yes, I am 16. Never ask a lady her age, but she's 16. <laughs> okay. So, um, district champs, back-to-back, -back, two years in a row. Yes, sir. You're going into your junior year. You batted 362 last year. That's pretty cool. And two home runs. You also play travel ball for Velocity, right? Yes, sir. Let me ask you this. Why softball? What is it about softball that you love? It's just a feeling of where everyone on the team and your teammates, you know you can count on each other. It's a very like homey environment and it's like almost a breath of fresh air when you step on the field for a game. I was talking to a, a professional softball player yesterday, Bianca Cruz. She's a really, really cool girl. And she, um, she was telling me that softball is different than most sports that girls really lift each other up. There's competition, but outside of that, they don't, you know, put each other down, slander each other. Everybody's kind of like family and the sport in general. Do you feel that? Yes, I agree. I feel like even if you're on the same team, like after the game and before the game, like everybody's all giving each other a hug, like greeting each other, just like making new friends, like every game. How did you originally get started in the game of softball? Both my older sisters played softball. My dad coached for their little league teams. And I always loved how my sister Natalie just loved the game and she was always so passionate. Okay. And I always thought I wanted to be like her when I grew up. Okay, so you got two siblings, and Natalie's the older one that played softball? She's the middle sister. The older sister's name is Ashley. Okay, so are you going to be the better of the sisters? Yes. <laughs> I have a little little theory that the youngest is always better, but... I agree. Time will tell. You still <laughs> got to put your work in, right? Yes. Uh, you play third base, the hot corner. Yes. What is it about third base that you like? I just love the feeling of it's always exciting. Always, something's always happening, and I just love the feeling of also being able to help everybody in the field and almost control everyone's emotions is there ever just a good feeling like when you feel a ground ball and you throw a girl out from third and you get her banging <laughs> yes. playing that right like, boom you're out yes it's just like it's just like you just showed off your cannon right like, oh you know, yeah i call it a cannon um is there a particular moment in your career that sticks out where you're like that was the game like i was on or something happened any any moment there was a game for my sophomore season where i hit two home runs and one in the same inning and that was pretty cool Wow, that's a pretty good inning. <laughs> yeah. How many RBIs you got by any chance? Were I think there... it was about nine. Nine RBIs? Maybe, I think it was. That's a heck of an inning. Um, anyone out there ever hit two <laughs> home runs in one inning? Like, comment and let us know who that was. I don't, I've never heard of anyone doing this. That's a pretty good game. Um, what is it about MCC? I mean, uh, you know, we, we want to start giving more love to some of these schools that don't get a lot of sports love on the, in the media around here. But um, we know MCC's got some really good things going on with some other sports. But what is it about the school in general that you like about Melbourne Central Catholic? The staff is incredible. I mean, all the teachers are so willing to help each, each kid. And they always support you no matter what. And it's just a really good environment to be in. Okay. A lot of smart kids come out of MCC. Yes. I think there's, a, there's a, a new electronic vehicle that's been on the market. And the owner, the guy that designed it, is from MCC. You know oh. anything about that? No. The Ravion. I think it's called a Ravion or something like that. Oh. It's huge. That's and the really guy cool. from MCC, I think he's a multi-billionaire. So if you want to make any donations, you know. <laughs> um, what is your favorite class? Science. Science. What is it about science that you like? I just love how there's always something that you can learn. And you can never get too comfortable with just learning the same thing. And it's never boring. Ever evolving, right? Yes. <laughs> what are some of your hobbies outside of classwork and softball? What are some of your I hobbies? I go to Coastline Church, which also has a youth group called High Tide with some of my best friends. And I love art and I love reading. Okay. What a... Uh, what kind of art do you do? Are you a painter or a sculptor? What do you like to do? I like sketching and drawing a bunch of outlines of things. If you ever get really bored, you're going to paint me something for the studio? Yes. <laughs> like a big softball or something like that. What about reading? What do you like to read? I love Harry Potter. It's one of Harry my Potter. favorites. I think there's a lot of Harry Potter fans out there. <laughs> I don't know enough about Harry Potter to start talking, but I do know butterbeer is very sweet. It's very good, though. <laughs> no, like two sips is good, and the rest of it's like, oh, this is sweet. I know a lot of people love butterbeer. Do you ever go over to Universal to the Harry yes. Potter experiment? <laughs> Do you just hang out in that area for a while? A little bit, yeah. Do you wear the robe? I, I don't wear it to the studio, but I do have one. Do you have a wand? I have about four. Do you walk around that area where there's like little areas with magic? I have one, but I always forget to bring it. Okay. Harry Potter, there's your <laughs> shout out. You're welcome. 
Favorite food? What do you like to eat? I love salad, like mainly Caesar salad, but any type of salad, like I just, it's so Caesar good. Caesar salad's so good. Yes. You like it with any chicken in it or shrimp or? Not really. No, nope, just Caesar salad as a croutons. You a crouton girl? Big crouton Boom. girl. Boom, <laughs> croutons for the win. <laughs> Um, dream job. What would you like to do uh, one day when you're done with softball in school? My dream is to be a pediatric oncologist, which is a cancer kid's doctor. Okay. So you want to work with kids that have cancer? Yes. That's awesome. Um, hopefully you'll be one of them people that helps change the world. Hopefully, we know, yes. we know we need it in that area and, and hopefully something will change soon. Um, do you have a favorite softball player that maybe you've idolized or somebody that you try to look after and, or, or look up to and be like, I want to be like her? Yes. The UF softball has the third baseman. Her name is Reagan Walsh. Reagan Walsh. She's okay. also a, she also just like hits for the team when she's not playing third. And I just, I love her work mentality when she speaks in interviews. She just seems like a very like humble person who's always willing to like reach out and help some people. Like just wants to support her team no matter what. What's the chance Reagan will watch this interview? <laughs> Hopefully. I'm going to reach out to Ashley Acasio. She's a big, you know, Ashley? Yes. She was a star Florida Gator. She's yes. a friend of mine. I know her. So maybe she'll plug this in or something like that. But anyway, boo the Florida Gators. Sorry, Ashley. <laughs> Sorry, Reagan. Um, what are you doing to prepare for season coming up? It's summertime. You got a few months, still several months. But uh, what are you doing to, to prepare yourself physically for to enhance your game in softball? Yeah, along with a bunch of weight workouts, obviously, to build velocity with going everything going on. I do some yoga just to, like make sure I have a good mindset going into the games in the season. Okay. I think it's a good thing to make sure your mind's very clear and nothing like negative is going through your head. Any specific type of yoga? There's some different things that I know about. I don't know the different types. There's hot yoga. <laughs> oh, no. I have a friend who's an instructor, and they're like in this room that's like 130 degrees. But my favorite thing that I hear about, which I've never done, you ain't going to catch me doing no yoga, <laughs> sorry, is the baby goats. Have you heard about that? I have heard about that, yes. All right. If you get a chance to do some yoga with some baby goats, mom's got to send a picture. <laughs> they like stand on your back or something while you stretch out or do something like It's like, like puppy that. yoga, too. Oh, that sounds so cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do puppy yoga. <laughs> I love puppies. What are your expectations uh, this upcoming season? You'll be a junior. What are some expectations for yourself, one, and for the team? For myself, I really want to be able to com contribute more of my like, leadership role for everybody and just also like have a better season with numbers and everything and just really grow on my like leadership skills and for the team. Okay. And for the team-wise, I would love for us to go for three district championships in a row because we already have two. I'm calling it right now. Three in a row, it's going to happen. <laughs> yes. And I would, we have a very young team, so I'd love for us to grow together and really like have a good team at the end of all of our seasons. Well, there's room for growth, but y'all weren't too shabby last year. I think 11 and 9. Yes. You batted 362, which is pretty darn good. So maybe you'll get up over 400. That's the goal, get yes. Get those two home runs <laughs> up to like four little <laughs> little goals. But um, maybe get that record up. You know, you said you got a lot of incoming sophomores, right? Yes. Well, that's got to be pretty cool that you are you got a group of girls that not only have you played with now for a couple years, but a few more years to go. Yes. So hopefully y'all stay together and everybody um, can win some state championships down there at MCC <laughs> Softball. Yes. Is there somebody on the team that uh, you think in your mind is just going to make a name for herself? Or maybe she's already got a name, but we don't know. <laughs> who, who should we look out for? Our past first, our first baseman for the past two years, her name is Mason Leave. She's just incredible off and on the field. She always has a positive attitude, making insane split plays oh, wow. to save us at first. And she just, she's always smiling off and on the field. And I just really think she's just someone I really look up to. What year is she going into? Going into junior as well. Okay. Big shout out to Mason Lee. Yes. <laughs> We're going to keep an eye on you. Maybe get you in for an interview. Um, you also play a couple other sports. Let's hit on that. You play basketball and volleyball and some other stuff. But tell us about basketball. And volleyball you play for mcc uh i haven't I, this year is gonna be my first year playing for mcc but okay. i'm old school i played basketball with some of my friends and i loved it and i was on the jv volleyball team for my first year last year and the coaches were amazing like they were very supportive and helped me learn from like the star of volleyball i like i hear so young but you're like i'm old school <laughs> <laughs> so since you said you're old school do you have a favorite player that was in the nba or wnba or something like that um i don't follow the nba as much but there was like a very like insanely tall player on the Gators uh, men's basketball team and he was always fun watching because he was always smiling off and on the field. Do you follow um, women's basketball with all this crazy stuff going on? No. A lot of controversy but it's kind of good. I do know Caitlin Clark is really good. Caitlin Clark is good. A lot of fans. She's making a lot of people a lot of money so that's yes. cool. What about volleyball? How, how much volleyball do you play? Are you going to play at MCC? Uh, I am going to play at MCC yes. 
Uh, I do have a favorite player on the Gators team, again. Gators, Gators. <laughs> she's their libero. <laughs> and she's just, the, the whole team is just watching the team. They all look like a family. And that's a big thing like I like really strive for is like for teams to feel like a family with each other and to play and have fun along with it. I'm assuming you want to go to Florida one day if you have the yes. opportunity. <laughs> Plus, um, you know, they've got a really good academic program when it comes to your field. So that's all above my head. Though. I'm not that smart. Um Anybody you want to give a shout out to that's been in your corner through this whole journey so far? I know you got a long way to go, but anybody yeah. who's been there for you, it means a lot to you that you just want to give a shout out. My, my parents and my sisters, they're like my biggest supporters. Even my grandparents, they're always there, always watching. Even if they can't make it, they're always on Game Changer checking in. They're just always there for me, and I really appreciate them like for everything they do. And they got to buy you gloves, yes. uniform, and <laughs> gas money to get you all over the place, yes. and travel ball, and everything else. So, All right, well, Mandy. Amanda Carter of MCC, I appreciate you taking the time to come <laughs> in today. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. It was such a pleasure. It. I'm a fan. I'm rooting you on. I hope you have a great year. And <laughs> I can't you. wait to see you do big things in this world on and off the field, mostly off the field, because I know you're going to do awesome <laughs> things in that career. So appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for having me. All right. So for Mandy Carter of the MCC Hustlers, softball, basketball, and volleyball, I'm Tracy Rain with 321 Sportscast. Have a good day.